Welcome back to a very spontaneous short video. While browsing the release notes for the new Home Assistant version 25.09, I saw that they released a new big dashboard feature, the Home Dashboard. So I thought I'd make a short video about it, in which I can share my first reaction and my thoughts about this new feature. Let me know what you think about this video format. Okay, let's go through the release notes. As you can see here, introducing the Home Dashboard. Over the past year, we have focused on dashboards and their capabilities a lot. We've looked at a lot of your dashboards you've shared on socials and talked to many of you about how you organize all your smart home devices and services. The goal? Making dashboards faster and easier to create, while still making them very customizable. With this release, we're introducing a brand new home dashboard. The purpose is simple, to give easy access to the right information at the right time. Here you can see a little preview of what the home dashboard might look like. The dashboard adapts to your home assistant experience level. Powerful enough for advanced users, yet approachable for newcomers. We are working to have it earn its name and hope it will eventually become the new homepage. As always, it's optional. You can always pick your own dashboard. This is the first iteration and we continue to developing it in the open. When you first open the home dashboard, it gives you a quick way to navigate to useful summaries for your light, climate, security and media devices. You can also browse by areas, getting an overview of all the devices and services associated with that part of your home. We are also introducing favorites. You can pin any entity to the top, whether it's a light, climate or person. We'd love to see what you choose. More on this in the future. The home dashboard is not just about quick control. It also brings insights and information about your home. The first release includes weather and energy cards. It's a simple start and we have a lot of ideas to explore with you. For example, helping you create your first automation or show discovered devices. And then here we can see like an example of what maybe a room view would look like. For now, the home dashboard is considered experimental. Configuration options are limited and it's guaranteed to evolve. It won't appear automatically and if you want to try it, you need to add it manually in the dashboard settings by adding a new home dashboard. Okay, let's update Home Assistant together and take a look. I'll be right back when Home Assistant restarts. Let's now add the new dashboard. For that, we go to Dashboard and add a new dashboard. Here we can see the new home dashboard. It's still experimental. Let's add it. Okay, my first impression. It looks actually pretty good. On top here we can see Welcome Julian, so the username, that's very nice. I always put that on my dashboards as well. And then underneath we have like summaries. Here we have a view that shows all of the light entities. So that's actually really, really cool and very, very useful. It's like organized into like the different areas. And then the second one is for the climate. This also looks quite clean, I would say. You have the climate entity on the left. And then we have window sensors for each area next to it. Also looks quite clean, I would say. I like it. So far, I really like it. The security tab. Okay, this looks a bit more messy, I would say. I think it's because I have very different entities in each area here. And as you can see, in some areas I have like a camera, and then in the office area I have like five different cameras, even though they're not actually cameras. And I have a lot of different motion sensors. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about like the horizontal thing. It's different to like the section view, as usually it's like set up in like squares and this one is more like in rows no media players page looks fine just shows all the media players so a little bit cluttered underneath we have the areas section and let's look at one of the areas let's look at the office we have all the lights here and then we have like the climate and the security stuff here this looks very similar to the areas dashboard which i don't mind but then underneath here, we have a section for each device, it looks like. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this because it makes the dashboard very, very long, as you can see, like I can scroll forever. And as you can see, some a lot of these are even like unavailable and like not very interesting. Let's see if we can like edit the dashboard or something to like hide these. I also think what they could do more is have like the entities in the heading. For example, in the lights, they could have like turn on off all lights in the room or something like this. This is like a little bit of a missed opportunity, I would say. Let's look at another room, maybe the living room. Yeah, see here I have the living room presence sensor. And I think this is like the biggest issue I'm having with the 
dashboard right now because all of these entities I don't really need and like they make this dashboard like really 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 long and very cluttered to say at least. I think it would be better if they had like one section here for example where they had like switches or something because then you could maybe hide the ones that you don't know, like and you could only have like the ones that are actually necessary. Okay let's go back. So the top section here with the summary is actually really like the light page is actually really really good it doesn't have anything that you don't need it just has all your lights so that's super good i think also the climate page works quite well and then from the climate page you can also go to like the areas so that's also quite nice actually i like that and then let's see what we can edit okay it's like quite limited we can favorite entities like it said in the release notes so let's try that let's maybe add some person entities I think that actually looks quite nice. I think this is a really nice feature actually. I really like how they did it. Let's maybe also add like an alarm control panel to see what that looks like. And basically they're using, I think, the tile card for like all of these cards, which I don't mind. It's like a really nice card. It looks really good. And it makes the dashboard look like quite cohesive, which is also good. Okay, but there's not much else we can do in terms of settings. Let's see if we have more settings inside of like a room. No, it doesn't look like. This would be really nice if we could like, for example, say like exclude these devices or something like this, similar to what we can do on like the area dashboard, but I'm sure they're working on like more functionality. Because like some of these devices, like I don't need to have on my dashboard. Let's look what else we can do. We can edit in YAML or we can take control. If we take control, that could actually be really nice because then we could use the GOM dashboard to make like the structure and then we could say like, ah, but we don't want these devices on the dashboard, so we delete them. But the downside of this is that if we take control, it doesn't add anything else automatically when we add like no devices or anything. So that's a little bit of a downside. And I think this home dashboard really is like the idea of it is, is that it would be like automatic. But for like a new user, when you have everything in there and you want to create a nice looking dashboard, that's like relatively easy. I think taking the home dashboard as a starting point and then taking control and then just deleting what you don't want is like a really good idea. The area down here with the weather and the energy I'm not the biggest fan of because also as you can see like all the other ones have like headings like summaries areas and then these two are just like kind of down there and you don't really know why they're there or like what's happening basically so yeah overall I think it's like a quite a good start for like a first version like it, I think it looks quite nice and it's quite functional like some of the pages already work really really nicely like favorites work really nice the light patch works really nice, the climate patch works really nice. And to have like all the different ways how to get like to the rooms is really, really nice. But there's definitely still room to improve and we would need some functionality on like how to edit it and like how to like personalize it to actually make it like usable, I would say. But overall, as like a first look into this home dashboard, I think they did a great job. And I'm very curious what they will do with this and like what will come in like the next updates. So as I said, this was kind of like a spontaneous video. I thought I just gonna hop on here, record this video and like kind of like share my thoughts about this like new feature because I saw there was a big new dashboard feature in the new update. Let me know in the comments if you like this format. What do you think about the new home dashboard? Do you like it? Are you going to use it as a dashboard? Are you going to use it as a starting point maybe to like then customize your dashboard? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. And if you like the video or if you want to know more about dashboards, check out my channel. I have a lot of videos about like my own dashboard and like custom cards I made, which I share with the community. And if you like the content, then I would really appreciate it. If you subscribed and liked the video, that's it for now. I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.